I want to thank all of our witnesses for their uh, lifetime of hard work in this area, uh, preparing and planning for emergencies, pandemics, disasters, uh, um, it's hard work, it's good work. We appreciate you there. And then, of course, we're talking about the supply chain and federal response. So according to Johns Hopkins, the United States is now over 121,000 deaths from COVID-19. A recent data analysis shows it's uh, 70 to 99% of the deaths from the virus so far could have been prevented. However, there is still time to make a difference based on how we proceed. As Dr. Fauci has recently said, we're still in the first wave. So with this in mind, we must continue to respond to this pandemic with urgency. Our response must be timely, targeted, and thoughtful because different parts of the country are experiencing the pandemic at different rates with varied timing. We can and we must protect lives and livelihoods, and we have to do better than we've done before. It does require a strong national strategy and a process for delivering key supplies to all of our communities, and we should be constantly correcting uh, our actions to be sure that we improve our response. So uh, I know we need to improve transparency in the supply chain. Of course, we're all going to recommend that. I believe we should have used uh, greater use of the Defense Production Act and our national response. But to Mr. Burrell and Mr. Phelps, I want to talk about our rural areas. They have seen fewer cases of COVID-19 compared to urban areas, but they have felt um, the real impact of this pandemic. They have huge scarcity of supplies. Access to care has been a challenge, especially of the more remote areas in my state of Nevada. So what specific recommendations do you have and how we might improve responses for rural areas, critical testing supplies, PPE, what changes might you recommend in the future? I guess Mr. Burrell, you can go first and Mr. Phelps. Thank you, Senator. We have long recognized that there is a vast difference among the states and the localities and what their capabilities are to respond, how they are positioned in terms of whether it be uh, material assets or personnel assets to respond, um, both from a regular emergency management perspective or from a healthcare need. So I think that we need to continue to create better relationships, stronger ties with state and local government so that we understand better what some of those unique needs of those rural localities, for example, are. So just as we might consider a dense urban populated area and how we need to respond to that differently, we need to think about the same thing for a rural area. I think that for the states to be able to establish stockpiles that are independent of the federal government, as many of them had some years ago, to try to help supply those rural areas directly as we bring in more product. They have a better understanding. We recognize the states and the locals have a better understanding of what they need for support than the federal government does. And if we position them to be better able to support themselves, I think that the response would be stronger in the rural areas. 